Hey guys, what's up? It's I'm Wild One here and welcome back to my channel for another build tutorial. Today we're going to be building a medieval gothic house. Let's get into it. Let's start by building a rough outline of the house using cobble, cobblestone slabs, spruce wood and polished andesite. Medieval houses are usually a simple shape like a rectangle. Add some stairs to the corner of the build. Continue building up with timber and use stone stairs and uh, trapdoors for some detail. Build the walls with cobblestone and use spruce stairs to embellish. Do this on all sides. Using Durite, create a band around the house. Add cobblestone stairs, cobblestone slabs and chiselled stone for detail. I'm doing two windows on the sides, but you can do more or less depending on the size of the house. Trapdoors as shutters adds to the medieval character. Do a similar thing on the back wall, but with one window instead. Now create the entryway using spruce planks and spruce stairs. Once you've made a door, continue with the spruce wood inside to make the floor. Use slabs around the outside of the house, jutting out. Fill in the roof of the first floor with cobblestone. Create an A-shaped roof line with cobblestone. Trace the inside of this line with spruce wood. Fill in both ends of the roof with wool. Create a beam joining the two parts of the roof out of cobblestone slab, extend out over the edge of the roof to create the hanging part you often see in medieval houses. Fill in the roof with spruce planks. Use cobblestone stairs to create a flow along the front and back edges of the roof. This makes it look less blocky. Do the same thing underneath. To make the attic window, Create the outline and then fill in with wool. Use planks and stairs to attach it to the roof. Make the window and decorate with trapdoors.
create a window at the front and back roof space. Use trapdoors as shutters. The pulley found in medieval houses is used in this build as a light. I've made it with glowstone, fences and cobblestone walls. And there we have it, a medieval gothic house. By varying material, you can have all sorts of different looks. I hope you enjoyed this build, but before we go, let's have a look at some of the other builds in this village. Here we have a blacksmith or ironsmith. You can see the furnace on the outside of the building. This type of building always had an open courtyard. The local mill. A large horse stable with the living quarters at the top. This build today was a part of a medieval tourist attraction village on the edge of my city. That's going to be the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to smash that like button and uh, subscribe. And watch out next week for a medieval fantasy build. See ya!